Okay, welcome back. This is part three of Electrify. Mm -hmm. Now, um, we have a shaft, a round shaft, and let, let me name it first shaft. And outside the shaft, we have a hub. The purpose of a hub outside is this, uh, when the shaft rotate, uh, uh, let me put a center point here. When the shaft rotate, we want to turn the hub. So basically, the shaft will rotate. And it's supposed to turn the hub. But because both are round and round, uh, we are not going to turn the hub. Uh, so we need to introduce one element. The element we're going to introduce is called the key. Basically, what happened is we will cut, we put a little cut off here and this is called the key and uh, this section is talking about key so basically with the key when the shaft turns the hub will turn because the key engage them so how does the shaft look like after uh, we have introduced the key the shaft will look like that lah. the shaft is no longer round I mean it's still round but there will be a section here removed. And this section is called the key seat. Where the key will sit on it. There's a key seat. Now what about the hub? So uh, the hub will also have a cutoff. Uh, similar cutoff. But the cutoff is on the other orientation. Uh. And this one, we call it the key way. So for the shaft, we call it a key seat, and for the hub, we call it a key way. And in between there, we have a key. How does a key look like? It's something rectangular or square in cross section, and there's a length. That is the key. Uh, I'll call it key. Not the same as our door key. Lah. Now, uh, let's analyze the key now. So, uh, I will draw a key here, the key, the cross section of the key, and uh, there is a center point for the shaft axis. Then, let me put in the shaft. Let's say the shaft is over here. I section this part off. So, basically, you can imagine that this is the shaft, and we have the key. Let's say the shaft, we apply a torque, a, a, a torque to the shaft. I'll put it this way. We rotate the shaft by a, a torque. The torque is um, T. So when the shaft is turned by the torque, there will be a force onto the key. There's a force here. And there will be a force over the other side. Eh? the reaction force so the force has to be equal eh? so basically that is how the free body diagram of the key will look like and uh, let me put in the radius the radius of the shaft eh? so now how is this torque force and radius related it's related by the equation which you study in your year one torque is equal to force times radius or we can say the force will be the torque over radius now that get me to the key now huh? let's look at the key let me draw the key now let's say the key has this rectangular shape and I'm going to put in some numbers ambiguous number lah. Uh, let's say this is 4, this is 5, and this is 12. Now, now when we when we subject the, the sh key to the force here, you realize that the force will be, there will be force over this side. Let me just, let's say the force over this side. Okay, 
And the other side, uh, over this side, also have a force there. Basically, that's how the key is being, is, uh, yeah, be, uh, being stressed. Uh. So now let's understand what is the area that receives the, the stress. Uh. I just put here, area receives stress. Uh, we call this the shear stress. So, which area should it be? Uh, I give you a choice here. Yeah? I can say it's 4 by 5 or 4 by 12 or 5 by 12. Which is the area that's resisting the stress? So basically, you realize that the correct area, I'm going to shade it. Huh? I'm going to show you, is this area? Obviously the area is not on top, but the area is right in the middle there, in the middle there. But uh, that's the area. So basically the area is actually 5 by 12. That's the area, that 5 by 12. And uh, the equation governing the shear stress uh, will force the area over this type of condition is this. Shear stress equal to force over area. But you need to choose the correct area. Lah. Now let's understand this little value first here. First, huh? here. This number 4 and 5. Huh? Where do we get it from? Huh? In practice, huh? we get this from the shaft diameter. So shaft diameter, once you've got a shaft diameter, you will be able to get this number. Huh? And where do we get this number from? 12. Uh. This number 12 uh, is your is design in. Your design one. This is where we want to know. We need to design that. And that depends on the material. So you design that dimension. But the 4 and 5 uh, is not designed in. Uh, it's by the shaft diameter. And how do I how do we do that? Let me show you a catalog over here. I just brought this one. You have seen this in your lab, and you will see this in your lab, but not now, but you'll see it in your lab some point in time. Let's say you have a sharp diameter of uh, 22, C22. When a sharp diameter is 22, the key width is going to be 6. That's it, you're going to be 6. Let's say you've got a sharp diameter of 25 here, 22 to 30, 25. Then the key width has to be 8. You cannot choose any number, lah. it is from the catalog here okay so let me move this away and we're still on key yeah? we haven't finished key yet now like just remember i was telling you that the key we have to the the cross sectional area Let's say this is the shaft. This is the key. And we have a shaft. Uh. The hub is outside. We say this one, this one is determined by the is determined by the shaft diameter. Now, uh, and the length, the length of the key is by design. When we say design, actually we mean the apply the torque. Lah. That means what is the torque that you have. Okay, so now the question is this. If for example in your design, in your design, I put the question down first. Uh, in the design, your force is, your torque is high. So you say, okay, now, uh, common sense, I will increase the length. The length of the key, I mean, okay. Now, the length of the key cannot increase as much as you can because there is a, the, the hub has a width. Uh. So let's say you're limited by the length, you can't increase further. What can you do? What can you do to increase, to hold this design so that you can increase the top? So one way is to use two key. How do we use two key? We put another key here. 
used to heat. And the keys are 90 degrees apart. Why 90 degrees apart and not 180 degrees apart is because when we put the key in, uh, one of them will sit on top. If you put the other one at bottom, you drop off. Huh? So you can't do it that way. So therefore, we would like to put the key 90 degrees apart. Uh, that's for the key. Now, another concept about the key is this. Huh? Uh, let's say we got the area of the key. Let's say I assume the area is actually uh, maybe one centimeter square. The key is, I give you three shapes. Huh? One is a rectangular shape. One is a square shape. And the other one is a round shape. Uh, three shape. Which key is the weakest? Okay. Which key is weakest? So obviously not a rectangle because the area is here, the area is here. So this area is big, so this will be strongest. So now the question is this, between this and this. One is a square, one is a circle round. Which one is bigger? So the area is the same, huh? area, is equal, area is constant, so which one is bigger? So the answer is that uh, the, the, the weakest one is this one, square. Weakest. And why is that so? Um, we got two ways to do it. One is to buy by analysis, uh, no, by no, by, by by intuition. Let's say I put, I put a, I put a, a circle here. And then if I draw a square, same area is this. Uh, so the square must be. This another color. If the square to be same area, it has to be bigger like that. Is it? Let's see it like this. So that this area, <laughs> take care by this area lah. They balance it, eh? So basically, uh, the diameter will be bigger than the square. Lah. The other way is that um, the other way is like this. We do calculation. Lah. We say the area. Let's say area is one. Lah. So we say pi d squared over four. That means pi r squared. Lah. Pi d squared over four is equal to one. So we calculate this. We get d is equal to 4 over pi square root. So 4 over pi square root. 4 over pi. 4 is bigger than pi. So the square root of this will always be bigger than 1. So we know that uh, the weakest key is the square key. Okay, I will stop here and I will move on to the... I will stop here for this part and I will move on to the next part soon. Thank you.